This night of depravity had reduced me to urinating on a tree like a forest animal. How much worse could it get? Excuse me, I'm looking for my friend, blonde girl, about a meter and a half. Excuse me, I'm looking for a friend. Missy? Sheldon? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Do mom and dad know you're here? Do mom and dad know you're here? Okay, stop. You go first. Heather's sister goes to school here. She invited us. Now you. I'm looking after Paige. Where is she? Well, I didn't say I was doing a great job. Paige is drunk? And high on what Officer McDaniels calls Mary Jane, Reaper, and Ganja. Is she okay? No, she said her life is terrible. What? Her life is terrible? What? Her life is terrible. Now what do we do? We can't just leave. Paige is still in there. Maybe we should call mom. I do have four quarters for that exact reason. Paige? Wait! What are you doing? Well, this is Bradley, and we're going to another party. Another party? It's 9.30. Bradley, do you know how old she is? She said she was 18. Lower. 16? Lower. Yeah, I gotta go. Thanks a lot! Come on. We're running again? 
We just ran! Hurry! This is as fast as I can go in sensible shoes. You okay? No. Oh dear. What? I'm going to have to mother of ball blisters. I'm worried about you. Thank you. Don't be. I'm having fun. You're drunk and you're about to get in the car with some stranger. So? He was cute. What's wrong with you? You're smarter than Sheldon. Why don't you act like it? Um, I am. If that was true, then how come my pizza is still in my stomach and yours is in the fountain? Just, what good is being smart if you're all alone? Let's go to Sheldon's room and get you cleaned up. Mm, thanks. Just so you know, you're not alone. You've got me. I thought we were trying to make her feel better. Okay, she's asleep. I put a trash can by the bed in case she gets sick. Where am I supposed to sleep? On the floor. Why can't she sleep on the floor? She doesn't even know where she is. I don't have time for this. I have to find Heather before I lose my ride home. Fine. But first, we have to get our story straight about where I was tonight. There's only one story and it's straight. You were here. No. I wasn't. I was at Heather's and you didn't see me. Got it? So first I have to sleep on the floor and now I have to lie for you? How about this? Work with me and I will officially owe you one. One what? I don't know. One anything. Anything is awfully vague. Let's say we draw up a contract. What? Sheldon, you went to a frat party and now there's a drunk girl in your bed. That's the coolest college story you'll ever get to tell. So I can tell mom? No. Someday. When? Someday when we're old and we can laugh about it. I gotta go.